Hi, Andy Evans here, uh, part 20 of making a guitar in your garage. Um, welcome. Um, okay, so I'm waiting for the fret wire, uh, the, e uh, the Evo Gold fret wire. It's coming uh, tomorrow for the white guitar, so that's going to get fretted tomorrow. I'll do a podcast on that. Um, I'm waiting, I've got the green guitar, that's on its way. I've just made a leather scratch plate for that, which I need to make a bit neater. Quite like the idea of a piece of leather. Um, okay, so I'm going to talk about woods today. What what woods are good for uh, using uh, on guitars? Um, if you have a really good um, um, timber yard near where you live, uh, you can go and choose. You know, dried woods, um, something suitable. Um, Thirty years ago, when I worked for Gordon Whitten from Gordy Guitars, we used a lot of ash for the bodies and uh, uh, maple for the necks. Canadian rock maple. Uh, you know, we had bini fingerboards, rosewood, sometimes we used maple necks. We made a lot of straps and we made a lot of tellies. Uh, sometimes we used poplar, which is a very soft wood for the bodies, lightweight, easy to work with. Um, ash and maple are quite difficult to work with, hardwoods are really hard, hard and heavy. Uh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't make a maple guitar too heavy, you know, the, the body out of maple, it's too much. Um, Okay, so a lot of guitar companies use maple tops, you know, like flame maple tops and curly maple tops. Um, that's okay with a mahogany body, the weight's not too much, you know. Um, so I'd recommend uh, oak is a good uh, body wood. Poplar is okay if you want a light guitar. Uh, mahogany is great. I like mahogany, it's very easy to work with. This is African mahogany. There's three or four different types of mahogany from Africa. I think there's um, Sipo, Sapili, and African mahogany. And um, <clears throat> one of them has got a strange grain that I don't like. It's um, very liney, you know. It looks like that cheap furniture from the 70s. Uh, so I picked this stuff out. It's got a nice grain to it. This is a, a Les Paul type thing that's on its way soon. I need to get a top for it, a nice flame top. So I'll get a flame maple top for that at some point. It's going to be a bit thinner than a, than a Les Paul, a bit lighter and I'll contour it a bit more, maybe contour the back here a bit more. So that's one I've got on the way, that's the mahogany neck which is uh, African mahogany, uh, Les Paul neck on its way. So that's another project. Um, okay, um, as I say if, um, if you're thinking about making a guitar and you're unsure what wood to use, the easiest one to use is mahogany. It's very simple. It's easy on your tools. It's, uh, it doesn't wear out your, your bandsaw. It doesn't wear out your router. Easy to sand. Very easy to sand. Easy to carve. So I would go with that if you're a beginner. If you can't get hold of that, um, ash for the body, maple for the neck is okay. Walnut. I just thought of walnut actually. Walnut's quite easy to work with. Um, it looks stunning when you, uh, when you lacquer it up. You know, American, American walnut, black walnut put gold hardware on, walnut's good if you can get hold of some walnut. Um, there's this thing about them being dull, the guitars, you know, but um, you just have to comp compensate when you put your pickups in. Always remember that electric guitar is not the same as acoustic. An acoustic guitar is it's more like a microphone, you know, so it's, it's the woods are a lot more critical on an acoustic guitar than they are on an electric guitar. A lot of people will, will differ with this, but um, it's critical to a degree on an electric guitar, but not as critical as an acoustic guitar. Because your pickups are picking, you know, the, the magnets and are taking the sound from the strings. Whereas an acoustic, it's taking the sound from the whole guitar, the wood, you know, flexing. Um, okay. Um, sometimes we used to use veneers on guitars. This is a, a walnut book match piece that I have. I'm not sure if I'm going to use it on a guitar, it's a bit, a bit dark and dreary, it's the type of stuff you see on furniture, you know, but it's just a piece I've, somebody gave me a boat, a boat builder gave me, he makes tables and give me a few pieces of veneer. So, um, uh, yeah, um, ebony, let's talk about ebony for a minute, um, we used to do, use a lot of ebony fingerboards, it's very brittle. Normally before you glue it, it's a good idea to wipe it with alcohol because it's quite oily. 
Um, I know the it's, things have changed from when I made guitars 30 years ago. The, the rosewood is getting difficult to get hold of from certain countries. Uh, we just used the best wood 30 years ago. It wasn't an endangered like it is now. And um, you know we made some stunning guitars. Um, so um, that's the end of the podcast. A quick, quick brief one about wood and. Um, Oh, and another thing to remember with wood is, if you're making a neck, really want straight grain. The, 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 the wavier the neck is, the more chance, the wavier the grain is on the neck, the more chance it'll, it'll move, so you're looking for straight grain. Quarter saw wood is, is not that important. Once you've got a fingerboard on here, and you've got your skunk strip, your fill strip in here, it's stable. The glue lines hold the neck stable. Um, so there's this debate about quarter saw wood. Um, it's not that important to use quarters on wood. Um, how else can I talk about? Um, okay, uh, yep, um, a flame maple. You can make flame maple um, necks for like a telly or a strat or bird's eye maple. Quite hard to work with when you carve them, especially bird's eye. Some of the little the knots want to fall out on you, so you have to do a lot of sanding near the end. Instead of using the spoke shave, to carve it down. Once you get close, you do a lot of sanding with a long, long block, you know. But the results are spectacular. I mean, a flame maple neck looks absolutely stunning. A bird's eye maple neck looks stunning. Um, I'd love to make some guitars with it. I just haven't got any at the moment, so I'm trying to loca locate a supplier here in uh, the south of France. So if there's any suppliers out there with any flame maple, get in touch. Leave me a leave me a message. Um, leave me an email. Uh, I'll, I'll give you my email address: ajevans67 at gmail.com. That's ajevans67 at gmail.com. So yeah, I'm looking for some exotic woods, hardwoods, flame maple, bird's eye maple. Okay. So thanks for watching the podcast. Um, don't forget to sub subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Hopefully, I'm fretting this um, guitar next time.